Hi, I'm Pastor Vincent. We're living in a broken world where sometimes we feel hopeless and helpless. But with God's Word and His Holy Spirit, we can live a victorious Christian life. May God's Word bless you today. In the movie Shawshank Redemption, Tommy asks Andy for help to help him pass his high school equivalency. Andy replies, I don't waste time on losers, Tommy. During the movie, Andy wants to test how sincere and how persistent uh, Tommy is. It's only a test. It's not to degrade him. In today's passage, Jesus uses a similar test on a Canaanite woman, and she passes it with flying colors. Three things I've learned from the Canaanites' strong faith. First is, strong faith does not come from our background, but is a gift of God. The Canaanite woman have no knowledge of the Jewish Messiah. At the same time, the Gentiles, Gentiles are out of the promise of the Abraham's promise, and also she was considered unclean by uh, the Jews. All she knows is Jesus had the authority to heal. And she, when Jesus talked about the love of God, she was really touched. So she begged Jesus to heal and restore her daughter. She does not let her own background, let her be away from the love of God. The second thing I've learned is strong faith must be persistent. The disciples was annoyed when she continues to ask for Jesus for help. She was crying and requesting all the time. They were so annoyed that they asked Jesus, can we send her away, please? She does not let and know for an answer and from the disciples. The test for it is a test for her sincerity and her humility. Sometimes asking over and over again in our prayer seems pointless. But she put her pride and uh, her doubt aside and continued to pursue Jesus. Strong faith is strong in pursuing and persist Jesus. The first thing I've learned is strong faith is not easily offended. Jesus saw her faith and she put her to another test. She said to her, you and your daughter are dogs and not worthy of this healing. She recognized that she's her own Jew, but she also knows that Jesus is love. And so she submitted to this humiliating remark. She said to Jesus that, yes, we are dogs, but we deserve to have the crumbs on the ground. Therefore, she is gracious and humble in uh, her faith. Jesus saw it and immediately was amazed by her faith and uh, appraised her and affirms her before a huge crowd. And he, he heals her daughter. My application today is, it's amazing to see the faith of someone who don't even know Jesus, but she persisted in her faith in someone who is loving. So it's uh, something that we must learn, especially in the Western church that we live in. We have so much resources, and a lot of times we don't depend on God, we depend on our resources, our money. And we say to God that we don't need you, therefore we don't pray to God. Prayer must be persistent. And therefore today we must learn that we can do nothing without God, and we must depend on Him. And we must mirror the response of a Canaanite woman to approach Jesus with humility and persistence each day. Sometimes this test is our stepping stone, not our stumbling block. And we should make it that way to make sure that we draw close to God because of these tests. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for uh, your love for us. And thank you for many tests is in front of us. Help us to build our faith up with these obstacles and depend on you totally. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel blessed by the word, I would encourage you to subscribe so that you can have the future updates or even share with a friend. I'll see you next week.